Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 427, maximum sub array sum with length divisible by K. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. This one I was a little bit sad because I was just uh, uh, bad fundamentals. That's why I got 10 minutes of penalty. And, you know, this is why you have to learn uh, uh, and be good at stuff. Uh, I, I was like m almost right, which is kind of bad because I had the confidence of someone who's right, but without uh, the code of someone who's right, say, right? So, okay, so for this one, it's kind of, honestly, it's a um, little bit tricky. My initial thought is some sort of um, sparse table E um, doubling dynamic programming thing. But then I actually thought that, uh, well, I mean, if nothing else, that would be too slow. But it also didn't make sense because um, what I thought was that you could combine things along the way. So you have, um, you solve it for K. Uh, and then maybe two adjacent k's could combine to be two times k, but there's no easy way to do three times k or four times k. I mean, you could do it with dp, but then that's going to be k times n, and k times n is going to be way too slow for this problem, right? Because that's just n squared, really, uh, in the worst case. So the second thought that I had was that, okay, well, um, the length has to be, um, um, and, and this is a, thing of Cadane's algorithm which I'm not going to go over in this video because it's kind of hard <laughs> for me to kind of spend a lot of time on it. Uh, definitely read up on it. It is one of the um, first dynamic programming problems that you may have come across on lead code. It, it comes up a lot for whatever reason. But the idea here is that, okay, let's say I have, um, yeah, I mean, I think you could probably think of it in any number of ways. But the, the, the thing that I would think about is that, okay, you can only, let's say you have a chunk of subarray that is length k, right? You can only combine it with other subarrays of length k um, and so forth, right? Because otherwise, if you have smaller than length k, then you just have weird things. And you maybe you could do some dp based off that. But again, if you're not careful to keep dp, it's going to be k times n, right? Um... Yeah. Actually, I don't know how this one's fast enough. <laughs> but, um, yeah, maybe I don't know how this one's fast enough. I guess it is, eh, I mean, I, I get an, an idea, but we'll talk about it, I suppose. Um, because we have to analyze it a little bit deeper. But, um, But yeah, um, so the, the idea is basically that. And it turns out that, uh, yeah, if you kind of only care about the sum of chunks, then now all the adjacent ones, you, you can look at uh, K, and then you look at next to it, do we add it? No, or maybe yes, and then so forth in a greedy dynamic programming kind of way. And then in that kind of way, it reduces it to the Cadence algorithm. Um, and that's basically the idea I have here. Um, and it's kind of wonky, um, but that's basically the idea that I had during the contest. Um, and to kind of get a, a full understanding of this, you do need a full understanding of Cadane's algorithm. Um, if you don't, then, it, you know. But basically the idea then, well, there are K possible offsets, right? Meaning that you, um, if, if you just now bucket the answers by length K, there, you can shift by one, you can shift by zero, you can shift by two, dot, dot, dot. But there's going to be only K distinct uh, possibilities, right? So another way that I would think about it is that, okay. Uh, and let me draw this out real quick. Uh, let me get my drawing stuff up. Right. Is that, okay. So the idea behind this Cadane's algorithm is that let's just say that we can start, we always have to start at the very beginning. Then now you have chunks that are length k, right? They're all length k. I didn't draw it quite it's the same, but they're all length k. That means that in a Cadane's algorithm kind of way, you go, okay, you, you either take, no take, take, no take. And if you do a no take, then you have to start over. And then maybe you even want to start over from this no take, right? So that, that is how, how you think about dynamic programming. And then the, the thing is that, well, you're still missing cases, right? So then now some stuff can be offset by one or something like this, right? Uh, for some k. So let's say you want to start this way. Then now this is length k, right? 
and then you, you solve it for here. And keeping in mind that, well, now if you look at it this way, none of the problems uh, overlap, right? Um, don't Well, at least not yet. Uh, the way that it gets overlapped is that when this moves all the way here, and you want to start here. Well, if you start here, then this is the same as what we already solved, so we don't have to do it. So there's only k distinct things, right? And that's really the idea behind this problem. Um, yeah. And now to go over the complexity, if I could figure out how to remove this. To go over the complexity, uh, this is the code. And if you recognize this part anyway, this is very much Cadane's algorithm. You just, you know, if you focus on set start is equal to zero. This is Cadane's algorithm, except for that the delta, instead of having one cell at a time, you look at k cells at a time. And the way that I achieved this is by using prefix sum, right? So that we can do this in O of one. So what is the complexity here? That is the trick question, right? This is O of K. This is O of N maybe, right? So why is that not too slow? Well, this is O of K because, well, this is an O of K loop. So, I mean, I think this part is uh, straightforward. But here, keeping in mind that we always offshift by K, so that means that this is actually, to be more strict, N over K. And then now we have an O of K loop. Each does O of N K time. So that means that together, you just multiply them together and you have O of N complexity. And that's really the idea behind this one. I have two wrong answers because I, I, I was trying to handle, honestly, I just forgot about the negative case because you have to choose a, a non-empty. Um, the, the one in my head was zero, so I kind of just submit two wrong answers because I was being silly. Because I just forgot about how to handle it, uh, to have one min case or something like this. And I handled it by doing this, where if you just take one minute, I mean, that's the only time you, you, you use one negative, right? The only time the answer is negative is if one cell, or you have to take a cell, and it's only one cell. Because if you have any two cells, um, or two chunks, um, if it's negative, then by definition, either they're both negative, which means that you have a better answer with one of them being negative, or one of them is positive and the other is negative, which means that you get a better answer with one the, with the, just a the positive one, right? So that's why I can do it this way. But and anytime you st you get negative, you start uh, from zero, which is very very much Cadane's algorithm, and that's pretty much it. You know, you add the delta, you you check again, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and as I said, this is going to be linear time, linear space, and that is all I have for this one. Um, it's really tricky. Just, I mean, I'm, I know I'm going fast and I'm explaining a lot of things, and a lot of this um, explanation is based off the premise that you do know Cadane's algorithms, which I'm not going over in detail for this video. So definitely check that out. The, the thousands of videos on Cadane's algorithm if you search on YouTube. So I'm sure you could find one of my apologies. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and let me know, uh, yeah, if you have any questions. And you can now watch me solve a live during the contest next. Okay, YOLO. Okay, good. Let's worry about that one. How many people got it so far? 54. Okay, we're okay. But Q3, 29 people got it already, so we're kind of slow. All right, let's go. <sighs> Sorry. To the maximum nine MT subway such that the size of the subway is divisible by K. Okay, K could be pretty big. Mm, I don't want to think about it. Uh, uh, what's it called? Dynamic programming, sparse table thing. Uh, okay. Now, okay, so do we have to prefix sum? And then now we want to do, wait, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right, Larry, you got this, you got this. There was a, okay, I mean, this is pretty okay. 41, I, I thought it would be, I mean, I don't, I expect the less people maybe, or fewer people, but uh, okay, how do I want to write it? Maybe it's not quite right, but that's fine. No, is it? Wait, hang on. Am I thinking about it right? You, you tried for, you wanted for k, two times k, but you also wanted for three times k. Not. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong on this one. 
because I'm thinking of repeated doubling or whatever, which is not quite right, is it? How do people get so quickly? N is big. Sliding window for four. Four, eight. I guess it's just regular sliding window, right? Because you do k and then k k over two and then or n and then n over two, maybe. No, that's not right. That math doesn't work. How do people get it so quickly? Wow, I don't know how to do it. Because if k is equal to one, you do it for one, but that's not. You don't skip anything. Can you do it with DP? What is the DP here? But K could be small, so even DP on N is too slow, right? How do you merge? And this is only a five pointer. Oh, this is an eight pointer even. Oh, it's part. Let me take a look real quick. 10 to the fifth, so my n square is not gonna be good enough either way. How many people have gotten this? Eh, no one yet, so okay. So this is this may be the entire contest for me then. Um, okay. Hmm. How do we do it? So the, so the different pieces, that's fine. And how do we merge? So there are k different problems, that's fine. And we just merge. So if it's one, then you just do a whatever over it. Yeah, okay, I could see that. Okay, I could see that, that's fine, maybe. Right. So this is the offset. We want to get it so that the length k. So offset, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. So we start at i, right? So then now we have whatever. Uh, so then now current is going to start, right? And while current is less than n, current we add k, and now we just want. So that's the index. What we want is prefix of current plus one or plus. Well, okay, so it's do, 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 do. we want to do plus k, and then it's just plus k minus, and this should be equal to. Right. Okay, let me just put it out real quick so I could be a little bit silly. I might give an L in the negative infinity, but that's fine. I uh, only print one, two. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, okay, fine, whatever. Two negative 10, is that right? That's negative 10. That's negative 14. That sounds right. Okay, so I think we're right here. Um, just went. So this is two, so this is negative four, negative four, negative one, and then this is just three, one. Okay, so then now we have this. Okay, good, 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 good. And then now we have, um, what, what is it called? Right? 
or actually technically right so if okay so this is delta um if mx plus delta is less than zero then mx is equal to delta i guess right otherwise yeah and then um, um best is equal to max best mx something like this contains the algorithm uh yeah okay do i have a print statement still no yolo oof oh okay wait hmm how did i get this one wrong why tell me why that i have an off by one index so start one is start so then now it's going to be negative 10 it goes to negative 10 and then do, 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 if Because it's equal to zero. Uh, okay, that's a silly mistake, I think. Uh, is it though? Like, I don't want to submit it again and then get it wrong again. If, uh, I don't remember Cadane's algorithm well enough, honestly, for the negative values. So, okay, so. It's so hard to submit this. It puts delta is smaller than this is delta. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, okay, YOLO. Uh, okay, fine. So this MX is going to be do 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 do, right? I don't. Uh, the contains algorithm is so tough for me to remember. But, uh, but that's tough. That's 10 minutes of penalty. Yeah, okay, fine. I think just this, right? This is still right. Nine, do, 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 do. Um, and then all, all we have to do is. Did I get this one right? Yep, uh, maybe. Um, just for that chunk. Uh, eh. I knew that one. Silly mistakes. Uh, I mean, I knew the idea. I, I didn't know the edge case, so that's kind of a little bit on me. Um, and 229 is kind of rough. Um, I knew that one very quickly, but I was also just being careful. Okay, let's see if I could. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, the description, the explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.